Hello everyone, this is Amber from Georgia Paper Crafts and today I am using one of the pre-printed uh, images from the Simon Says Stamp Susie Plantamura uh, images that are you can buy in packs of 10. This comes from the floral set that is available and I'll put a link down below. I actually picked quite a couple of these to color with different uh, mediums of uh, paint or, or ink and I'll have a couple of videos showing that. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with this one. Alright, so I decided to bring out my Distress Ink cubes and I have all the Distress Ink in large um, pads, but I decided I would challenge myself and use only the ones that I have in the ink cubes. So I am going to, that means pretty much what I've got right here. So I think I'm going to pull out a couple of these reds, maybe a little bit of the orange, and then maybe the twisted citron, even though it's kind of a big We'll see, see how it looks. Um, I'm not sure if I wanna color the background yet, but I might wanna use the weathered wood or the old paper to do that, but we'll see. So I'm gonna start out with these. I'm gonna go ahead and start painting. What I'm gonna do is smush them onto my, my mat here, my uh, Tim Holtz um, glass mat, for because they clean up really easily. So I'll just, uh, kind of smush them out on that and pick it up from there using um, my paintbrush and I've got some clean water here along with a paper towel. I'm gonna put on a little bit of music and let you watch me color. So initially I thought that I would put a little bit of music on but I have gotten some comments that sometimes people think the the um, music is distracting which is is I, I can understand that so I am just going to leave this blank and let you watch, uh, or leave it quiet and let you watch the coloring. Um, let me know down below what is your preference. Would you rather have some music in the background lightly or just leave it uh, with no background music or sound? Um, I'd just like to know uh, for future, but I'm going to go ahead and let you watch this and I'll come back in as soon as I'm finished.
So once I was finished with this, I decided uh, to go ahead and try and cut it out. Um, I decided I would cut it out, not leaving any kind of border, just cut it out along the black lines. I did this just because I didn't feel like coloring the, the background to um, fill it in. Plus, I kind of wanted to pop it up, although I wind up not doing that. But um, that's definitely something you can do. I didn't make you suffer through me cutting that out. I'm a very slow cutter, so I didn't do that. And as you can see, some of the inner portions there um, of the floor, flower, I'm just using my um, craft knife to try to go in and, and remove those. To me, that's the difficult part. I don't seem to do very well with that. But anyway, the thing to know about these images that you get pre-printed on these um, this Tim Holtz watercolor paper is that um, it, they are uh, a two size, which is four and a half by or uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. So they do fit a standard a two size card. You could just leave it like that, or you could cut it out. You can trim it down. You can cut it in half. Do whatever you want with them. the good, the, the good thing is that you have a variety of options to do. And um, for this one, I, like I said, I obviously cut it out. You will see um, the other ones that I do, I, I decide to do different, different methods. And, and, and that's one of the reasons why I'm doing these videos so that you can see that there are multiple options to how to create cards using these. So here, along all the edges that I um, cut out whether with my scissors or craft knife. I am going around with a me memento tuxedo black marker and I'm just going along the, the outside starting it from the back and coloring it black. What you'll see is that this helps to cover up the imperfections of your cutting and Lord knows I have a lot of them so it makes it look a lot more finished. I do this on all images that I cut out uh, right up to the line. If I leave a white border, I won't do this. But if I'm cutting right up to the image line, then you're going to see me come around and do this. Now, I always go from the back so that if for some reason my pen, uh, you know, scrapes or moves, then um, I won't just make a big black mark on, on my image that I just took a lot of time coloring. So I usually start from the back and just kind of rub it along the sides and um, cover all those those areas. So that's what you see me doing here, just, just kind of going through and covering it all up. And you'll be able to see in just a few minutes, I'll show you, I have one more area that needs to be cut out between the leaves and I, I kind of motion to that a few minutes ago um, but you'll see the difference between how it looks without the black around the side or uh, you know the edges and how it looks with it so right there I'm showing you and I'm trying to decide do I want to cut it out well yeah I guess I, I, I should so I decided I'd go ahead and do that and I did that off camera and I did cover that in. I thought I might show you a little bit more um, of how that looked. But So this is uh, one of the papers from the Simon Says Stamp uh, card kit from last month. I believe this is from Moda Scrap. I had a bunch left over. So I cut that down, adhered it to a pre-made green card base. And I'm coming in with my Love From Lizzie pill-off stickers. This is a green uh, glitter. And I'm going to put two lines of that just to frame up the edge there. And off to the side, you can see my uh, sentiment that I had picked. This is um, one of the sentiments from the Simon Says Stamp Word Mix. I think it's the birthday word mix uh, set that where you can get a bunch of them and then you can stamp them out and cut them out all at once. Um, I had done a bunch where I heat emboss them. This is embossed with gold embossing powder from Simon Says Stamp. And of course while I was talking I, I missed to tell you that I did adhere the image straight down onto the card front just using some glue. I, I popped up the sentiment which does say hope your day is the best day ever. 
And then I use that little sentiment that I also made at the same time that says celebrate up into the left hand corner. Now I use my T ruler to make sure that I put that on straight. And then I'm just going through and using some my white gel pen just to put a little bit of highlights around. I really enjoyed how this turned out. This card went to my wonderful mother for her birthday and I believe she liked it very much. I hope that you'll give it a try using these pre-made um, images. I think they're you know very easy to use and and customize to your own creations. Here on the inside I put happy birthday. And now one thing I did decide to do with this is to make an envelope liner. So this is the envelope liner liner set from Simon Says Stamp and this came out a very long time ago but what you do is just use some pattern paper you cut it out using that die off to the side and then you just adhere it um, to your envelope. So that's what I did right there use the, some of the that some more of that paper from Moda Scrap and that's it. Like I say thank you so much for joining me and watching today's video. I loved making this card and I'm looking forward to bringing you more videos in the future. Stay safe and have a good day.